In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the continuity at a point. Okay, so a function f is continuous at some point c if all three of the following conditions are true. Okay, so the first condition is that the function evaluate at c uh, is defined. Okay. Second condition, the limit as x approaches c of the function okay, exists. Okay, and the third condition is that one has to be equal to two. In other words, the limit as x approaches c of, of our function. So the limit of f as x approaches c must be equal to the function defined at c. Okay? All right. So those are the three conditions. Okay? So what, what I want to do now is um, give uh, three scenarios where each of these is going to be a function that's not continuous. Okay? All right. So let's say for the first one, let's assume that our function is, let's say it has a hole in it. Okay, something like this, okay? And so we have a point here, okay? So we're gonna call this C, all right? So this is what we call a uh, removable discontinuity. Okay, because to make this continuous, we would have to cover that, we would have to plug that point in. Okay. All right. So, so the limit here, okay. So the limit as X approaches C of our function exists. Okay. It exists here. Okay. However, the function evaluate C does not exist. Okay, so so the limit exists. Okay, in fact, we can go ahead and just give this an arbitrary value here. So let's say that's L. So the limit exists here. Okay, but the function does not. The function at C doesn't exist. Okay, so this in this situation, the first situation, um, it this one is numbered. The the first statement of our theorem is doesn't hold true. Okay, all right, so therefore, right, this function is not continuous at C, okay. The second situation um, is if you have something like, let's say, we have, um, let's say that we have a, we have a hole Okay, however, there's a there's another point up here, okay, that's defined. Okay, and again, let's call this this is gonna be some C value. Okay, and we can go ahead and call this L. Okay. Alright, so here in this situation, okay, uh, the limit as X approaches C of our function exist. All right, it's equal to L. And f of c exists. Okay, or is defined. Okay. However, uh, the the limit doesn't equal to the function evaluate at c. Okay. Okay, so it does not equal to 
f of c. All right, because the limit is equal to l. However, the value, the value of their function at c is up here. Okay. All right. So this is another situation um, where the function is not continuous at c. Okay. The third situation is if we can have if we have something like like this. So there's a let's say this is open and this part is closed. Okay. All right. So again, these are we're assuming these are functions of x. Okay. So let's again call this c. Okay. All right. So now, okay, in this case we have the limit as x approaches c from the left. Okay. Uh, let's call this, let's give this value L, and let's give this one, let's call this one M. Okay. Okay, so the limit of a, for a function as x approaches c from the left side is approaching L. And the limit as x approaches c from the right side is equal to M. Right? So these, uh, so therefore, these two limits don't equal, okay? Don't equal to each other. So the overall limit, right? The overall limit as x approaches c of our function does not exist. All right. All right, and the function evaluate c, so our function evaluate c is equal to m, okay? All right, so in this situation, the function, the function is defined, however, the limit doesn't exist, okay? So that's the uh, third case, all right? So this tells you, this tells us that the function is not continuous at c. Okay. All right. So going back here, okay, so the second one, this was also a removable discontinuity. Okay. And this one here, the third one, uh, basically. So this one doesn't involve a single point, right? So we, like the first two, uh, like the first one, we just need to, to make it continuous, we'd have to plug up, we have to plug that value of C back in, okay? We'd have to plug the, uh, the value of, the value at CL, okay? The second one, we just have to move, to make it continuous, we'd have to move this point and cover up the hole to make that continuous. But the third one, we have to distort the graph. We actually have to change, we have to, uh, it's more than just covering a point. We'd have to, we would have to uh, move everything. We would have to move the, destroy the graph to make it continuous. So in this case, this is what we call a non-removable discontinuity. So you can also have a non-removable discontinuity for uh, if you have a function where it has a vertical asymptote. That's also considered to be a non-removable discontinuity. Okay, but those uh, for vertical asymptotes, those are for those are on those are where the limits unbounded. Okay. All right. So this is again this is the mathematical uh, way to show uh, whether or not a function is continuous at a point. Okay. So remember that the function at that point is defined. The limit of the function as x approaches c exists, and the limit of f as x approaches c must be equal to the function evaluated c. Okay.